Hi everyone, it's Simon here and I'd like to welcome you to this video on Sidekick. This is going to be another uh, part of our nerd series. Uh, in this particular video we're going to be looking at this product that helps us uh, see who opens and clicks our emails. Okay, so just to put this session in context, so many of you at the moment are going to be using products like WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger uh, to communicate with each other. And you know, one of the reasons those services are so cool is that they provide easy notification of read receipts. So they show you when a message has been delivered and they show you when a message has been read. Something else we've also been looking at recently is link tracking. And so using services like um, GOO.GL or Bitly, uh, we had a look at um, ways that we can shorten links and make trackable versions of them and then send them to people so that we can see when those links have been clicked. Now, WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger are fine, but they're really not mediums through which we conduct business. And email is still the undisputed king of the business world. That said, one of the biggest frustrations with email is that it doesn't have any native support for read receipts or link tracking. And so often when we're sending emails, we're really flying blind. We don't know whether the people we've sent them to have read them, and we don't know whether the content has been engaged with unless we've taken the manual time-consuming step of creating a shortened link using something like Bitly and embedding it in our email. So there's a big opportunity for a product which can bring us some of this functionality such as read receipts or link tracking within the normal use of our email service. Fortunately a product like that exists and it's called Sidekick and what it promises is integrated read receipts and link tracking for email. Now, Sidekick is an extension for Chrome, and so you do need to be using that browser for this to work. As far as the email services it works with, it works with Gmail, Outlook, and Apple Mail. As for why this service is important, it just gives us more information and more insight in connection with the communications that we're having with potential partners, customers, clients, and people like that. The more information we have, such as you know, if an email has been opened, if the content's been engaged with, then we can make you know, much better decisions about how to communicate with those people going forward, or perhaps how best to follow up. Okay, so I'm not going to attempt to describe the product to you. I think it's much easier if we just have a quick look at it in practice. And so uh, we're going to open a browser and head to getsidekick.com. Okay, so here we are on the website. Now make sure you are using Chrome. Uh, this is a Chrome uh, extension that will only work with that browser. So once we're there, it's as simple as clicking the blue button, Add to Chrome. Add extension. And there we can see the extension's been installed and now it's asking us how we send email. We're gonna go with Gmail. and we're going to use our Google account. Now this is just Sidekick asking for permission which we're happy to give it. Okay so here we are inside the inbox and the way I'll demonstrate this product is to go through the process of sending an email. Now here's a draft that I've prepared earlier I'm going to be sending it to my friend Neville Bartos. Uh, the subject is The Guardian, and what I'd like Neville to do is to check out uh, a link that I'm sending him to the newspaper, The Guardian. Now, the two main benefits of using Sidekick are read receipts and also link tracking. Now, firstly, on the topic of read receipts, if we want to make sure we get really useful insight into who has opened this email, there's one rule we need to follow and that is that we only ever send the email that we want to track to a single person and so we have one person in the to address we don't have any in the CC or in the BCC. The second thing in relation to link tracking is that we can't use full URLs in the body of the email. What we need to do is link the URL to some wording in the email and I'll show you what I mean. So in this email, if we wanted to track clicks for the website The Guardian, what we'd need to do is instead of listing the website in full as it is here, we'd need to replace that website address with a linked word instead. And so what we'll say is we'll say, check out this website. 
All we do then is highlight those words and then link those words to the website in their place. Come down to the link button and go OK. OK, so our email is ready for sending. We can either toggle whether we want the tracking on or off. If we turn off the Sidekick tracking, you can see that the Send button comes back to Send an Untracked Email. Of course, we want to track it in this instance, so we click that and the Send button goes orange to tell us that this email will be tracked. And we send. Now, if we want to check on the status of the emails that we've sent using Sidekick, we can simply do that using the option on the left here. So that brings us to the activity stream, which is a summary of all of the activity in connection with the emails that we've sent using Sidekick. Now, there are a number of tabs at the top of the screen here. We've got all, opened, not opened email, and clicked links. And so here we are in the opened uh, tab, and you can see that the email that we sent to Neville Bartos has been opened. And that was opened at 10.55 today. So we can give ourselves a tick there. Uh, now you remember we also had a link in that email and so if we come across to the links tab we can see that that link has also been clicked and so we can see that Neville has clicked the wording this website which is the linked text that we use in the email with the subject of the Guardian. Now it may be that we had a few links in the one email and we can't remember well what did this website actually link to and so if we hover over that you can see in the bottom left hand corner of the screen there it's showing the URL. Now if we expand that it gives us a little bit more detail it shows us that the link was clicked at 1057 and it was done so using a mobile device. Now finally if we come back to the All Activity tab you can see in relation to the Neville Bartos email here if we expand that there have been two clicks in the last day. One click was when the uh, message was opened and the other was when the link was clicked. Okay, so you can see there that's been a really quick walk through the service, but it's really, really straightforward and simple to use. A couple of things to make sure you remember. The first thing is only one recipient per email. If you want to get accurate insight into the, who has opened the email, then it's important that you only send it to one person. The second thing, if you're going to use a URL, uh, you need to link it to text rather than including the whole URL. And thirdly, the thing to note is that this is a freemium service, yeah? So you can access most of the functionality without paying, um, but there are some limitations. And one of the limitations on the free uh, version of the service is that you can only receive up to 200 notifications per month. But for many of you when you're starting out, that should be enough. Okay, so that's everything I wanted to say about Sidekick. Uh, it's super simple to get started with, it's easy to use, it can give you some really great insight and I'd encourage you to basically jump in and have a play with it. That's all for now, bye bye.